Good morning. We have got a big job today. We are up at the uh, Dutchman Flat Snow Park, uh, right next to the Mount Bachelor Ski Resort. And we're heading out Cascade Lakes Highway with the track jeep. As you can probably imagine, Cascade Lakes Highway is a highway that goes up through all the Cascade Lakes. But it's only a highway in the summertime. In the wintertime, it shuts down and turns into a snowmobile trail. So here at the snow park, everybody can park and they can unload their snowmobiles, they can cross country ski, they can snowshoe, they can do all that stuff and head out Cascade Lakes Highway. But every once in a while, someone tries to drive a vehicle out there and that's what happened yesterday. So from what it sounds like, they made it all the way out to Elk Lake, which is super impressive, and then tried to uh, take a trail that goes around the lake and got stuck out there. So we're gonna take the track Jeep out and go see if we can get them. Now for all those of you wondering, yes, I did retention the tracks. It's super easy. All you do is take a 9 16 wrench and loosen up that nut, tighten this one in. There's one on each side of each track, tightens the track. Super simple, and if you're wondering why it took me so long to do it, it, it really didn't. You saw three videos where the tracks were slipping. All three of those videos were filmed back to back to back to back. As soon as I got home and had a chance to unload this off the trailer, I retensioned all the tracks. I wasn't just ignoring it for days and weeks like it seemed. But that is the handy thing about these tracks. Everything on them. 9 16 wrench. Need to replace bogey wheels? 9 16 wrench. Adjust tracks? 9 16 wrench. Whole track comes completely off? One 9 16 wrench. Put it right back on. That's why I wasn't super worried about doing it between those jobs out on the road when everything was still froze up and super icy and all that. All right, we got the truck locked up, Jeep's warmed up, so let's get going. Now this right here is the fork in the highway. The highway actually goes out this way and uh, it forks off that way to go to the Mount Bachelor Ski Resort. So in the summertime, everything goes this way and it's a two lane highway. In the wintertime, it goes that way to go to the ski resort parking lot. So you can see how if you're not paying super attention to the signs and don't know the area, this looks like it'd just be a snowy road. It looks like a snowy road because it is. Although there is a sign right there that says closed for winter. All right, we made it up here. We got Alex and Zach digging an igloo in case they had to stay a little longer. <laughs> Alex cooking breakfast. They came up here to go camping and the good news is they got to go camping. Bad news is not quite where they were expecting. Well, of course there's snow everywhere. We're in the Cascades. Where are you guys from? I just moved here from Hawaii. And he, oh. He just moved here from Portland. So this is a change for you. Yeah, a big change. <laughs> How's the learning experience going? Uh, it's going. This is my first year driving in snow. <laughs> well, you made it impressively yeah. far out into the snow. Yeah, I, that's what everyone tells me. So I was like, oh, I didn't know that I wasn't supposed to be so, able to even get this. So, congratulations on that. Yeah. <laughs> and I dropped my feet. Look, here's all the snowmobilers pulling up going, what is going on? <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh, God. We've had quite a bit of people just pull up and point and laugh. And <laughs> yeah, we had so many people go, how did you even get this far? And we're, I, I didn't even know. Sheer <laughs> will. We just, just luck, I guess. Because I didn't know I couldn't. Yeah, exactly. That, that's pretty much how it went. You dropped the key in the snow? Yeah. That's super not good. No, it's not. Unless I put it in my car. Yeah, it's been a long couple of days. <laughs> so, welcome to Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they told you about the whole snow thing, right? Uh, I watched a couple YouTube videos and they were all during the summer. I didn't know it snowed this bad out here. <laughs> yeah, and th this is going to be here till like Memorial Day. Really? It's two lane highway. Um, 
over the summer and then it's usually somewhere in November until around Memorial Day it snowed over and closed down and snowmobiles and snowshoers and Jesus. forerunners only. I didn't realize the snow lasted that long. Yeah, it lasts a long time up here. How are you doing over here? Pretty good. I, my only goal is to make it big enough to get in and chill in. <laughs> <laughs> so, Got the key with the pot method. Digging through the snow with a pot and found the key. It worked. We got the key now. <laughs> okay. All right, let's get it started up and warmed up and then I'll get in position up here and we'll use the winch. Uh, this is day three of them. Day imp three. Their impromptu camping trip here. Yeah. So we, we, we have brought enough food for just for breakfast, but it, it lasted us. Mm. Wow, good. Yeah. So since it's been here, probably frozen for all, use the winch instead of the rope. That way we break it free nice and easy and then we'll see how we can get it out of here. So Zach is making some progress over here on the igloo. Again. I told him I could come back later if he wants to finish. <laughs> it's not quite big enough to fill in yet. Oh, and something else I get a lot of questions on is this winch on the side. No, it is not mounted here. It doesn't pull from the side, anything like that. All it is is a piece of receiver tube mounted right here so I can set the receiver mount winch in it and use my kinetic rope on the hitch in the back and keep this out of the way. Rips. That thing is really high up the ground. Yeah, that's really impressive. See, if we had something like that, man, we could go anywhere. We could go anywhere with that. Hey, don't go over here, it's even softer. <laughs> Doing this. You've been doing this for a while, huh? Uh, Off-roading and all that, like, my whole life. Um, I've been in business for uh, a little over 10 years. Behind me again, Okay. Oh, yeah. Badlands winch! Heck yeah! That's a, that's a 95 winch right there! Wow! Wow, no problem. Okay, turn back this way. Right there. Okay. All the truck. <laughs> it was amazing. So we struggled with this for two days. And the Badlands winch just did it in two minutes. Very awesome. Quick plug the Badland winch right here. Look at how awesome the Jeep looks. We did drop the tire pressure down a bit to try to get it out. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Now try just back in right, stay right on that high crown right there. Okay. We're spinning, bro. Yeah, we're spinning. Okay, I'll play. <laughs> no problem. Man, we did not get very far, did we? No, we did not. Hey, you got that much farther than you were. <laughs> <laughs> Truly. Well, yeah, I never know what exactly I'm gonna get into. <laughs> okay, so everybody knows about the special edition Matt's Off-Road Recovery Yankum Rope. And now, if you go to yankumropes.com through the link in my description below, you can get the special edition Cascade Heavy Rescue red and black rope. I mean, not really, it's just that their standard colors are red and black, so I pretend it's my own special edition. But, <laughs> but they're really good, you can get them. Go to the link. Heck yeah.
I think he said not to give it gas. Yeah, when the uh, first people that rode up to us, you're like, oh no, it's the deputies, wasn't it? That told us they were like, haven't you heard about the family that froze out here? What are you guys doing out here? And we're like, no. <laughs> no, we have not heard about that. We did not hear about that. It happens very often. Um, actually, another recovery I have to do coming up. Uh, two friends went out to go camping. They woke up to a foot of snow they weren't expecting. They ended up, no one knew where they were camping. And uh, so right around Christmas time, they ended up stranded there for 10 days and they carved a big because no one knew where they were they carved a big SOS into the snow and finally an airplane or a helicopter spotted it wow and by then it had snowed so much that uh, no one could get to them so <coughs> they ended up bringing in a Coast Guard helicopter and airlifting them out and their vehicle is still up there still stuck in the snow yeah I gotta go get it that's a that's an upcoming recovery you guys will see it was a big national news story like they ran out of food on day five and finally on day 10 got airlifted out by the coast guard yeah, holy yeah. moly so yeah you can definitely get in trouble quick up here at least they had five days of food because yeah if they didn't that could have been it would have been game over it would have been a lot worse what happens in this area <laughs> That thing sounds pretty mean. out of the road. <laughs> Alright, we got them back out onto the main highway. This this is a two-lane highway all summer long. And uh, they're able to drive on their own right here, so I'm going to let them go ahead and follow them and see if they can make it out on their own or if we have to pull them again. Spoiler alert, he's definitely getting stuck again. I just got over the side to let some snowmobiles pass and a little soft. Go ahead and try back up about two feet. Get the wheel straight? Yeah. Okay, stop. Okay, now try getting forward, kind of onto this harder pack stuff over here. Forward slow? Yeah, and try to get right up over into this. I'll pull ya. Yeah, I'll just get up in front of them and pull them again. I bet we could drive it up out of there, but uh, I'll just get up in front and pull them. This is all a snowmobile trail. I don't want to dig up a bunch of ruts in it and uh, then have snowmobiles hit that not seeing it, which is the whole reason it's closed to wheeled vehicles all winter long. Fun fact, this big mountain right here is not a big mountain. That's a, a lava flow, and he's definitely stuck again. Uh, but this is a big lava flow that came down from the, the volcano up there, uh, whichever one it is. I don't remember which specific volcano because there's like 15 of them here. OK, 
Okay, so I see you found the other soft side of the road. Yeah, yeah. my seatbelt's stuck too. <laughs> well, just stay there. I'll pull you back to the center. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, since you have a better view again, you're up. Sweet. Thank you. And uh, yeah, give it throttle so you see my start going. And once you come out of there, when it goes slack, don't run over the rope, and I'll take you all the way up to the flat on top. Sounds good. Sounds good. the best job ever. Looks like we got a snowmobiler here. We'll stop and check on him, make sure he's okay. Alright, he's all good. He just blew a belt. He's got a spare. He's got it back on. He's just putting all the covers back on now. So, good to go. We got the Jeep loaded up back here at the snow park, which has filled up quite a bit. I'm glad we got here and we did. The only reason there's this room right here is because I parked right at the no parking sign. That way, once I came back, I could just pull forward and have room to get the Jeep on. And then for everyone asking how my ice scrapers are working, you can see it's got a bunch piled up right here and where it's been knocking it out. And on the back side, totally clean right down to the cleats. So the teeth can push in there just fine. So not super deep powder, but that gives me hope. The sheriff's found them up there yesterday. They snowmobile around up here in patrol and uh, how that all went down as far as being on closed roads and past the, the signs and all that, I don't know. That's not my part of it, not my business. I don't worry about it. I just get them out. So I got all my permission from the sheriff's department to go in there and get them. So that's what we did. All right, well, overall, that job went pretty good despite the fact that I totally underestimated everything. Uh, where I thought they'd be able to drive right through, they got stuck again. Where I thought they'd get stuck, they drove right through. But either way, hooked on them a few times, pulled them this way, that way, a few other ways, and we got them out of here. Uh, snow's starting to come down more and more, so I'm gonna hop back in the truck, head off the mountain for home, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Heck yeah. <laughs> I think he said not to give it gas. <laughs> <laughs>